Hello, Virgos. So let's get right into the reading. Just whatever the cards want to say, whatever wants to come out. As I always say, you know, only take it if it resonates. Don't try to make it fit if it doesn't resonate. If this is your energy group, it should be clear to you. So we have supernatural, inexplicable, miraculous, otherworldly, ecstasy, yielding, rapture, bliss, courtesy, thoughtful, polite, good manners, burnt by the sun, ambition, extension, reach. Let's see here. Madness, ecstatic ritual, energy release. Prey, stalked, invaded, watched. That death will come. Mortal, finite, fragile. Unexpected endings. Surprise changes, sudden shifts. Creator, catalyst, maker. Mother, father. Love conquers all. Enduring loyalty, eternal love, and lasting commitment. Okay, I'm getting that there's been something going on on a telepathic level. Now, this could be with psychic work. This could be with witchcraft. Um, it's basically saying, because we have these cards that are talking about, we have, you know, supernatural, miraculous, otherworldly, ecstasy. There's kind of that, like, that bliss that comes with a, with a spiritual awakening, with a psychic awakening. Some of you might be exploring witchcraft or psychic work, um, or you're just, you're opening up to the supernatural side of things. But I almost feel like there's this, it's either a spirit, it's going to be different for everybody. But and, and, you know, not to don't don't freak out. You don't want to feed this with fear. This is something again, don't take these readings if they don't resonate. Like this is something that you would have already been feeling. You would have already been feeling off like you felt like someone's watching you or you felt like somebody's spying on you. You know, we have the the prey, the stalking invaded watch card. You would have already felt this to some degree whether this is a spirit that you're dealing with or whether this is somebody that's just in your energy field that's maybe trying to do witchcraft or trying to like telepathically um, tap into your energy. You know, I'm sorry to give readings like this. I don't like giving readings that like scare people. You know what I mean? But I mean, sometimes people just need that confirmation of what they already know or they need a heads up because sometimes it can be easy to kind of be deceived. Um, but again, don't, like I said, don't feed it with fear, whatever it is, whether this is a person or a spirit, whatever it might be, you know, you, it's something that can be removed. And I do see here that the divine is basically stepping in to protect you and to clear this energy out. We're going to get more into it, but let me show you what I see so far. So we have this spirit here. It, it's just, I feel like somebody, it's like somebody is psychically opening up. Somebody is, or this could be something spiritual, basically someone's third eye is opening or they're exploring more. Um, and then we have this spirit that's kind of deceptive here, courtesy, thoughtful, polite, good manners. And we have burnt by the sun ambition, extension, reach. It's like this person, it, it's like, I feel like this is you where it's like you were in this state of ecstasy, just channeling all this energy, but it's almost like something is draining you. So I want to just, you know, put that warning out there. It doesn't mean that you should stop your spiritual work. Like, honestly, as you know, I'm, I'm a psychic. I'm, you know, I'm very spiritual, but I've gotten attacked by things in the past too. I've, I've had, you know, uh, not, not very recently, but I mean, I have in the past, I have dealt with being deceived. I have dealt with other spirits like coming in and you have to kind of use your discernment and clear that energy. You have to really use your intuition. And sometimes it can be really hard. It can be really tricky. This could be a message for somebody who's possibly using a Ouija board and you might think that you're talking to like a, a relative that's that's crossed over and there's actually something um, demonic or something dark on the other side that's trying to get in. So this is just a warning for somebody. Like I said, it's going to be different for everybody. For some, this could be just like an ex of yours, like an ex friend or family member or lover who's trying to... Um, get back into your energy field, somebody who's trying to kind of like manifest you back into their life. So, you know, take it as it resonates. There's a few different storylines here. 
And I do want to say too, because I'm a witch myself, this doesn't mean, I know it can be discouraging if you open up psychically and, you know, something attacks you or you you deal with this kind of thing. I, I understand that it can just make you want to shut down and not practice witchcraft or not practice psychic work. But I, I always tell people it's kind of like people saying witchcraft is evil or people saying psychic work is evil. It's kind of like saying fire is evil. It doesn't really make any sense. You know what I mean? It's, it's like fire is not evil, but it, it depends on how you use it. It depends on, um, it, it it just de it depends on a lot of things, you know, and it's it's like if it's not controlled, yeah, it can it can burn your house down. But if it is controlled, it's it's a positive thing. It can be used to you know warm your home. It can be used to for survival. It can be used for so many different positive things. So it's kind of like energy isn't really like it's not like it's evil. It's it's just you know people get into witchcraft and psychic work, and sometimes I feel like they do it when they're in a bad environment or they haven't really done like uncrossing cleansing work they haven't you know done you know grounding techniques protective techniques um it's kind of like somebody just and this could be somebody that you know too that might be going through this possibly that maybe is just like on like a spiritual awakening but they're 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 kind of out of balance i guess you could say um I'm going to get into all storylines too. So just bear with me here because I want to, I'm on that storyline and then I'm going to get into the ones where it's about an ex. But, um, but yeah, it, it just seems, it's kind of like taking the blindfold off. So it's like, if you have dark energies, like let's say that you have people around you, let's say you have roommates that are, that are kind of toxic and they have demonic attachments on them. Well, if you, if you dive into witchcraft and you dive into like psychic work and your third eye opens up and you're suddenly aware of those things, like maybe you get like a visual of the demons or you get like have nightmares. It's, it's not the witchcraft or the psychic work itself. That's, that's dark or evil or whatever. It's, it's basically taking a blind, the blindfold off. So you're seeing what's around you. That was already there. But when your third eye was closed, you just weren't aware of it, you know? It's like you might have just thought, oh, this person's stressful, this person's toxic. But when you're when you actually open your third eye up, you're like, oh, there's demons there. But but opening it's like doing the psychic work isn't what like caused the demons to be there is what I'm saying. It's it's like that just, you know, they were already there and you just became aware of it. So it's kind of like it's almost like the matrix. It's like you want to take the red pill or the blue pills. You know what I mean? So it, it's like it's it's not like the pill itself is what e what's evil, you know? Um, and I think your spirit guides too want to encourage you to, to, you know, stay on your path. You might've, it's completely normal to, especially when you're first going through a major psychic awakening, it's, it's normal to kind of, you know, deal with these things. Cause you're dealing with all these spirits and all these different things that you might not be familiar with all these different energies. And especially if you're empathic, you might be channeling, it's like you might be channeling all these different um, spirits and beings, and it can be really overwhelming. Like when I first went through my psychic awakening a few years ago, it was like my house was like Grand Central, Grand Central Station for spirits. It was so overwhelming because I would just have people like I would have spirits just come to me again and again and again, and I would be channeling them and I'd have to relay these messages. But it's like I didn't know how to turn it off. I didn't know. I was just so overwhelmed and I, I didn't know proper I kind of just dove into things I didn't have the proper grounding techniques I didn't know how to you know I wasn't doing enough to clear my energy I wasn't really doing much to protect myself so it's kind of saying like don't just get discouraged and shut out spiritual work or you know get off your spiritual path but it's just kind of saying like redo things you know what I mean like like be on your spiritual path again some of you might have gotten scared and kind of shut your third eye down after seeing something you didn't want to see and it's kind of saying you know get back on your psychic path on your spiritual path could even be part of your destiny for some of you but um but yeah just just it's kind of like relearning things in a way you know what I mean? It, it's it's like relearning, like developing your intuition and maybe going back and studying and having a stronger foundation, a stronger base so that you know what you're doing. You know, this could be somebody that just did a spell like they didn't know. Um, like it could have been and I'm not I'm not talking down on anyone that does dark magic because I think that each witch has their own path to go down. You know what I mean? Um, 
And to me, I, I feel like it's really, there's an energetic balance. You know what I mean? I, I feel like there's times when you do have to do spell work to protect yourself, even if that means, you know, going at someone. It's like if you're, if you've done the uncrossing work and the protection work and they just keep coming at you, you know, I think that there are times when that's justified, but it's, it's all perspective. You know, it, it really comes down to you. It comes down to your, uh, I don't want to stay on this too long because I know there's other people here that are waiting to hear about the the person that might be in their energy field. But I, I mean, I guess it's good inf information for everybody. It's just good to, to know these things. But um, I feel like there's like a mutual energy exchange. There's that universal balance. So really, you know, some people get away with doing dark magic. Others can't. You know, I think it depends on what realm you come from. I think it depends on your soul contracts, your karmic lessons, uh, just there's a lot of things that come into play and it really, you know, it, it you have to kind of find your own beliefs too and, and feel, you know, feel it out and see how you feel about things. But, but anyway, yeah, it's, it's basically saying don't give up on doing your spiritual work. You just kind of need to go back and ground yourself and learn to protect yourself more and learn to be a little bit more careful. Um, this could also be somebody who's very empathic, who might have psychic vampire types in their energy field, and you have to be a little bit more careful of who you're giving your energy out to. Because um, that's basically just what I'm feeling here. So it's like, you know, do the spiritual work, but just relearn some things, have that balance. Um There's actually a, uh, there's, there's a, there's some witchcraft classes. I'm not associated with them. I mean, I, I don't take the classes or anything. I have, I've thought about taking them just to relearn some things. Um, but I, I do, I have met the guys who, who run the witchcraft classes a few years ago. And I, I do, I do feel like they're legit and it's called black rose witchcraft. And I, th I think it's like $25 a month. Um, I mean, I haven't personally taken the classes, so I can't vouch for them. But I, I think for some of you, that could be a good place to start if you're trying to learn these things. But um, anyway, let me get into it here. So yeah, it's like somebody, it's like you were picking up on some energy here. And this could, for, so for some of you, like I said, this is just a spiritual awakening where it's like you're meant to go on, you, you know, you, you didn't do anything wrong. Like you're meant to go through this spiritual awakening. You just, you have to. You're, you've become maybe ungrounded and it's like you have to kind of ground yourself and kind of, like I said, learn the protective techniques, the uncrossing and clearing techniques, you know, the grounding exercises, everything that you need to do to find that balance to to make sure that you don't get burnt out. Because it kind of reminds me, too, of someone that's just channeling and channeling and channeling and then it's like they just... Oh, I see what this card can mean actually here because I was a little bit confused at first because I wasn't channeling anything about this, but now it's coming to me. I feel like for some of you, it's like you're empathic. And so you're wanting to help people. It's like you're wanting to, you might have a lot of people that are like asking you to channel or asking you to, um, it's like you're in tune with something higher. Does that make sense? It's like you're in tune with some higher energy. And I feel like you're trying to be polite and you're trying to be helpful, but you're, you're, you might get burnt out at some point. Burnt by the sun, ambition, extension, reach. It's like people are drawn to this light. And for some, if this isn't spiritual, like if this isn't you going through a spiritual awakening, it could just simply be your light. It could be that psychic vampire types are just attracted to this empathy and this light that you have about you. And maybe you're more empathetic than usual lately. Um... And it's like you're not really setting boundaries with them. Like you might just be – it's like somebody, is, somebody or something is draining you basically. But it felt good at first. Like you felt like in your power and you felt good. But I feel like you're giving away too much of your energy to something, whether that is just channeling and not finding that balance or whether that's um, psychic vampire types that you want to help, you want to support, or um, – and they might not even be psychic vampires, all of them. It could just simply be people that, like, need your support. They need that light that you have to offer, and you, you want to be helpful, but you're you're lacking that. Like, people just might be drawn to you. They might be drawn to this kind of, like, angelic. Like, look how, like, free-spirited she looks. I mean, they all, you know, I know they're all the same characters, but it's, like, 
like you see how she has these emeralds in her hair and all these butterflies around her this is like angelic energy or like fairy energy or something like that it's like your energy is unique um but yeah it's like you have to kind of find that balance and then you can so you don't just get burnt out you're gonna have to set some boundaries with people i think or even boundaries just with if you're channeling in general it's like you have to kind of because spirits will just come in like I've had that happen I've had that when I like I said when I first went through my my spiritual awakening I had this um I was doing readings in a in a Facebook group at the time and I had this spirit come in that that had crossed over and he wanted to talk to his daughter but he was like demanding he's like he was giving me all the details of the truck he had the um like the appearance of like his the house that he lived in everything and I found her actually he told me that she was in the Facebook group that I that I was um you know, channeling for and like, I went and found her and talked to her. But it was still one of those things where it was like, I was, I had these spirits like demanding things of me. Because I think a lot of people like dive into psychic work and witchcraft. And they're like, they kind of think that all spirits have good agendas. But it's like, no, there's so many spirits out there that like spirits can lie, spirits can trick you. That's why you have to use your intuition and, and discernment. Um, But let's see here. So we have madness, ecstatic release, energy release. I feel like this is being cleared. I feel like... We have pray, death will come, her last day in the light, creator, love conquers all. So I feel like this is like God or the creator or your gods and goddesses, your deities, whatever you, energy you work with. It's some kind of divine force that's shifting this energy. Somebody has been, you know, kind of preying on you or stalking you. Like I said, for some, this could be a spirit that's basically been sort of tricking you. It could be through a Ouija board. Um... And Ouija boards aren't necessarily evil. Like I, I mean, I have a Ouija board, but I very rarely use it. I only use it if I just, if I absolutely have to. And there's one particular deity that I call on through the Ouija board and I don't let anybody else come in through it. Like I'm very, there's techniques that you have to, have to use. You have to be, you, you, you have to be really safe when you are using a spirit board. You know, it's, it's not for everybody. And anyway, um, whatever this was though. And for others, okay, so I'm sorry. I, I told you guys that I would get into the other storylines here too. Let me get into that. For others, I feel like this could be an ex or this could be somebody that's, it's like somebody's like astrally spying on you. Like they might be remote viewing or it's like they're trying to come through and they're trying to, they're trying to kind of get into your energy field. Let me look into that storyline. Someone's putting this person, someone's giving this person an ego check though. Mortal, finite, fragile, or <laughs> fragile, fragile, <laughs> unexpected endings, surprise changes, sudden shifts. And then we have love conquers all like this love is kind of th that the creator has or this energy, this spirit has for you. Could be something with deer as well or, or birds. There could be some kind of spirit animals here. But anyway, whatever it is, it's like this, this spirit or this energy is protecting you. They're coming through here they're putting an end to this I think yeah I think if this is somebody who's just preying on your energy it's like they're just like a psychic vampire type who's just trying to get back in your energy field they're trying to meditate on you they're trying to manifest you um I, I yeah I feel like they're they're getting an ego check where someone's going to kind of put them in place someone for some this might be somebody that's been ripping you off like a like a false psychic or somebody that's just been kind of taking from you or just kind of um and you would know you would feel something is off you know like you'd probably feel this energy but I feel like yeah I feel like the divine is putting an end to that page of swords four of pentacles five yeah it's somebody that wants to hold on to you that maybe you're not in it's gonna be different for everybody like I said this could just be someone it could be somebody that's using you financially too. It could be, like I said, somebody that's like like a psychic, that's that's a false psychic, that's just out for the money. Um, or it could be somebody that's just uh, 
somebody who's trying to hold on to you financially. Five of Wands, Eight of Pentacles, King of Cups. Let's see here. Queen of Cups, okay. Queen of Wands. Page of Pentacles. Hmm. For some, this is a third party that's trying to break you up from your person. Because it's interesting because like King of Cups and Queen of Cups, that's like an ideal... It's an ideal match right there. And these are two people who are emotionally available, emotionally mature, emotionally stable, grounded, um, very balanced. But then we have a queen of wands here, and this could be male or female, but page of pentacles. I always see it. I'm always drawn to look at this person like trying to manifest something. I'm always drawn to look at the visual of this picture where it's like he or she is focused on this. I almost wonder if this is the same, I wonder if this is the same energy group that um, I just channeled. There was, there was a reading that I posted, look on my YouTube channel for that. It was, it was cause I just did a bunch of love readings. And then after that, I posted a couple channeled messages and one of them where was that somebody had this, this kind of fake person around them that was very boring, very kind of dull, stagnant, but they were trying to cut out the competition and they were trying to basically study this person's exes and act like they were like them to win them over and this might be someone that they dated in the past too and it's like they were trying to like pretend like they were suddenly a passionate exciting person and that they had changed and that they had all these hobbies and interests that they just didn't have before like there was something about like maybe them pretending to like hiking where they didn't like it in the past and just just a very fake energy and I'm almost wondering if this is the same energy group because I'm getting that energy again of like like studying here you know four of pentacles five of wands it's like two people that aren't talking there's miscommunication or arguments but they're still holding on to it and they're they're studying this could be somebody that's studying um it's like they're studying this king and queen of cups they're studying, this could be somebody that's just jealous of what you two have just in general. Like they might not even want to be with either of you. They're just, this could just be a jealous, bitter person that just feels like you gloat too much. Like they just feel like you're always posting, you know, pictures of you guys on vacation and, and you, like, why do you, like, they don't understand why you have it so easy. This could be like just a, a front of me type, like a hater type. But for a lot of you, I feel like if this is your storyline, I feel like this person is almost studying what your ideal match is and they're studying your relationship and they're, they're coming in as like a king or queen of wands and trying to break this up. King of pentacles. There could even be somebody that's in love with this person and this person's in love with your person. It's like, like a whole, like four people involved for some of you temperance the high priestess the star yeah someone's trying to plant the seeds with they're trying to find that balance and plant seeds with a high priestess or a hierophant type the devil southern of swords hmm Old patterns, though, old subconscious patterns, old toxic patterns, dishonesty, escape. Two of Wands, long term. Nine of Pentacles, the Hermit. It's interesting energy here. Six of Cups. Two of Cups. Yeah, somebody's nostalgic here and it's like they're tired of being alone. 
and they're wanting to come out of that that energy of just being alone or they see that you're alone and they want to you know kind of play on that and they want to get back into your energy field through that the emperor just the emperor is coming through he's not going to allow this <laughs> The emperor, whoever your person is, though, like they're coming through or it could be a spirit guide, too, that's that's, you know, intervening divine intervention here. The emperor, justice, six of swords. The moon. The three of cups. Ten of cups. OK, really interesting energy here. Let me see what else we got. The five of pentacles. Someone's going to get left out in the cold and they're going to have to just heal from. Yeah, someone's going to be heartbroken. They're going to be left out in the cold. Yeah, there is an ending here coming to a third party situation. Basically, somebody's going to get left out in the cold there. Um, what else do we have here? Four of swords. Yeah, they're going to have to heal from this. They're going to be heartbroken. You have someone here, though. This could be an emperor or an empress who is just there's there's divine justice. Like I said, this is either your person who's possibly feeling this energy and they're very competitive and they're not about to let this person have you or this could also be a spirit guide that's just step or stepping in it could be like a fatherly spirit guide like could be even like a father or somebody that's on the other side or it could be like a like a deity or something that's um that has that very masculine fatherly emperor type energy so there's some kind of male energy here basically that i see that's that's stepping in here for divine justice you see how he's ready to go to battle too like you see how he has his shield he has his armor he's like he's pissed so somebody's like no i'm not letting they're not gonna let some they're not gonna let this other person have you basically let's see here i've got the hermit and the six of the hermit reversed so I take that in this context as coming out of a period of loneliness, out of stagnation. I feel like somebody's claiming you too. It could be somebody that's that's seeing. There might have been black magic done on your relationship, and maybe it was cleared recently, or maybe there, maybe this emperor has been kind of hesitating, but now they're seeing that there's competition for you, and they're like, "Oh hell no!" Like they're kind of realizing what they have with you now. So they're coming out of the hermit energy and they're moving forward, starting a new life, six of swords. And the moon can be illusion and deception. I also see the moon as a good thing, though, because I see it as like intuition. That's how I always see it. That's probably not how a lot of readers see it, though. You know, each reader has their own way of reading the cards. So but. Um, but with the moon, I feel like. I feel like some kind of third party situation is being revealed basically um some kind of third party situation might be revealed or something there might be some kind of like black magic or something that was done that was like i said being cleared now or this person might have become this emperor might be aware of some truths now regarding this third party something's coming to light basically and it's leading you to the ten of cups with this emperor of yours so anyway, I hope that resonates. If this is your reading, please comment below, even just a heart comment. It really helps me because I'm trying to get back into the YouTube algorithm again. I'm trying to get YouTube to promote my videos, you know, put them on the, the main feed again. So the comments really do go a long way. Um, please like, uh, share, subscribe if this resonates with you. And I also do private readings. My email is right below in the description box. The email is dragonenchantress at awol.com. But for the if you need the spelling of that, just check the description box below. So thank you guys for watching.